Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, my big sister, my cousin, Naomi. She's a dentist, part-time model. Next to her is Priska Kamaria, filmmaker, model, entrepreneur, many other things. Next to her is Anya Satu. She is a chef in the making. She is a YouTuber and she's a business owner of I think it's like hair products and you know beauty, you know women they like those things, yeah. That's what she does. What are the differences between your generation and that of our moms and our aunts? And which generation would you say is better? I don't believe there's a better generation. I think each generation learns from the previous generation. And obviously right now we have more opportunities. Majority of my work is in Central and West Africa. Um, 20 years ago, a woman would never have been in my position in West Africa or be allowed to even speak to the people I spend time with. Gender roles, do they still exist? And how important is it to have gender roles in society and in relationships? I'm still in the old school type of gender roles. So I'm still that believer of the man is the head of the household. You're the leader, you're the cultivator, you're the supporter. I'm there to help you wherever you lack. Hopefully, you know, I can meet you halfway type thing. As long as we, my partner and I are in agreement with what it is that we expect from each other and where we're going, then it's fine. Do you think men are struggling to catch up to the new age woman? I think so. Um, I think it also just goes back to my previous points, just access. And I think you find women that are becoming a lot more independent and don't necessarily need a man to support or whatever. <laughs> This bird is a woman. <laughs> so in like a few words, what would you define the breakthrough moment? Starting my own practice, I guess. Can you give a round of applause, please? Um, I had decided that, look, this is something that has come up. Here's the opportunity. Get the experience, get the skills that you can. And then the you all just came through, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> For me, it was purpose. My purpose was to tell African stories originally, organically as possible, changing the narrative and seeing it from the African perspective. Traveling throughout Africa, I discovered how fortunate we are, things that we can't live without, people were living without. And um, Jabali Agritech was born. Agriculture with the latest technology, a self-sustained farm um, to in Congo, hopefully in other countries soon. Anya, so to being in your early 20s, you're from Johannesburg, but you study in Cape Town. You have your own business. You do YouTube, you work. So how do you handle all of that? I'm not really much of a procrastinator, um, which I think really helps me. Also, knowing how to plan. Plan your work, plan your rest, plan when you're going to have fun. Also just planning for if something flops or if you just wake up and you just feel tired, you need to plan for that as well so that you don't get caught off guard by that. If I'm planning something that is going to happen in the next six months, I set daily goals or weekly goals to make sure that by the end of the six months, I've reached my target. There's no easy route to success. You have to wake up and work, put in the work. Can we please give them a round of applause?